in Chicago. I've been here for less than 24 hours and I'm already obsessed with it. I've already made plans to come back so I can just like explore a little bit more. But first things first, I'm here for the Brewers and Cubs series. If you're new here, hello. I'm Peyton. My boyfriend plays for the Milwaukee Brewers and sometimes I like to come to the away games. So I drove here from Milwaukee last night. It took an hour and a half. I'm like, um, okay, find me in Chicago every freaking weekend then. I'm gonna do some quick makeup. What I normally do to go to games, I don't like to do like crazy a ton of makeup just because baseball is such a casual sport and most of the wives and girlfriends are like pretty low key. Joe is a starting pitcher, so he's actually pitching today. Another reason I'm pretty low key when it comes to games is I'm always running late and Joe's pitching, like first inning, I gotta be there. We're gonna do a quick little get ready with me. I'm actually partnering with Merit for this. I'm sure y'all have seen Merit before. They're all about minimalism. Also, I run every product I put on my skin through like a pore clogging check online and their products consistently come back clean, which I'm an acne prone girl. I have some hormonal acne right now. So I'm so, so careful and I'm really nervous about putting stuff on my skin and Merit always checks out. Also, they're clean, vegan, cruelty free, all the good stuff. So I actually already put this on my skin. This is the Merit Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. Again, no pore cloggers in here. It's got hyaluronic acid in it, niacinamide in it. I love anything that's like skincare and makeup all in one. It's a great base for like a dewy, glowy makeup look. So you just shake it a bit and then you apply two or three drops in your hand, put it on your skin. And then I'm gonna use the Merit Complexion Sticks really depending on what fake tan I have on. My tan is super light today. I have two shades here. This one is Dune and this one is Bisque. I'm gonna go with Dune here and I'm just going to like put it where I would typically put concealer. This is one of my favorite, favorite products for touching up. These complexion sticks have a light to medium coverage and they're buildable as well. You can use them all over your face. I'm actually gonna go over some of this discoloration here and here, just my hyperpigmentation marks. You can also go a little bit darker and use it as like a contour. What is probably one of my favorite purchases of all time, this is Merit's brush number one, the blending brush. I love how dense this brush is. So this is what I use to just blend any of the complexion products out. If you said I could only keep one brush, or travel with one brush, it would be this one. Okay, next I'm gonna go with the Bronze Balm Sheer Bronzer. This one is Cien. So I'm just gonna put this, I don't really like do a contour kind of thing. I put this actually where I want to be looking bronzed over my nose. And then I'm also gonna take a little bit and just put it on my eye. Another thing I'm loving about Merit is they have like sets that you can shop and I'm curating a set of my own of my favorites that I use uh, just for like every day. It really is like makeup minimalism. It's a few products that you can use. They're pretty versatile. They're good for your skin, vegan, cruelty free, like I said. That's a more sheer bronzer. I'm also gonna use the Day Glow Highlighting Balm. So I got this in the darkest shade just cause sometimes I like a bronzer that has that like highlighted look in it because the other one has more of a satin finish. There are definitely lighter colors of this uh, that I do need to get my hands on, but I just use this kind of as an additional bronzer right now. It's in the shade Solstice. Also, all their packaging is recyclable, reusable, or compostable. They really, from like top to bottom, have just done it right. All right, for my favorite part, the blush. I know y'all have seen these before. This is Merit's Flush Balm. I have so many colors here. The one I typically gravitate towards is the Cheeky shade. These are, again, very buildable. I use this literally every single day, usually with tinted sunscreen or something, just so I can have a little bit of a color, not be so dull, you know what I mean? Again, with my brush number one, I'm also gonna put some of this highlighting balm on my eyes too. All right, so I quickly set with powder, and now I'm just gonna hit my brows. I should have done this first, honestly, but I always forget. This is the Brow 1980 Volumizing Pomade. My brows are like in between blonde and brown. So I'm gonna use brown, because I like them looking a little darker. It also has products in there to strengthen your brows in typical Merit fashion. It's good for you too. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup real quick off camera, but this is my base. I just gonna put mascara on and some lip. We'll get dressed real fast and then we'll go. Okay, so here's the makeup in more natural light. I feel the most myself in makeup that is super simple. I think it's perfect for every single day. 
perfect for a baseball game for sure. I feel okay sweating in it. It feels good on my skin. I don't feel like anything's way too cakey. I'm just a huge fan of Merit, so I'm so happy to partner with them on this video. If you want makeup you can feel good about, it's vegan, cruelty-free, all around, just like such an amazing brand. You need Merit. I'm creating my own little kit for you guys of my favorites, and you guys can find that linked in the description. I hope y'all love it as much as I do. All right, now I'm dressed. Let me show you my outfit. All right, we got the Canadian tux going on. This is a top from Levi's. These are some A. Goldie jeans, and I've got my Converse on. If there's one thing about me, I'm a creature of habit. Y'all know I wear the same exact brands and pretty much the same thing all the time, similar to my makeup. I've got my Bottega bag. This is the mini loot bag. From what I know, it is stadium approved. I've never had a problem with it before. So hopefully and regularly we're good with that too. But here's my super simple look. My earrings are Heaven Mayhem as always as well. Also the family bus has already left. I never make that family bus. It's way too early for me, but we'll still be on time for the game, don't worry. One thing I always forget that my mom just reminded me of, my great grandpa, my grandpa's dad, which if you guys have been following me for a hot sec, you know my grandpa's my favorite person in the entire world. He's someone I look up to probably the most. Anyway, his dad played for the Cubs way back when and I always forget that we came here as a family once to Wrigley Field but I haven't been back since I was like 14. So I'm excited because it's an iconic stadium and I'm excited to watch Joe pitch. I've got my lucky pale yellow nails. I love the yellow with the navy. We love the Brewers colors going on. All right let's go to the game. Joseph won his game today, so we, it's a good day. We won the we game. We won, but Joseph won the game today. In my eyes. We won. <laughs> well, usually, like, sometimes if, if you lose, <laughs> if y'all lose, then I don't want to film anything. But <laughs> when you win, then I'm like, oh. here's me with the winner. You're going to capitalizing. <laughs> no, you just, what if you lost and I was like, so Joseph, how's your game today? <laughs> You'd be so annoyed. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't get the win. You didn't get the so win? So I didn't win. Well, that sucks. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. It's okay. We won. That's well, all that The Brewers won today. Game one, game. game one of three won by the Brewers. I had two beers. These are my stats. Oh, yeah. Two beers, one friend made. Um, no food. Zero bites of food. No food? What were your stats? You do like six. Little we Wait, you pitched six right now. innings. How did you not win? How did you make win? Because we didn't score until someone else was pitching. Okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you caught Joe's the full extent of that. <laughs> Six innings pitched. Yeah. One run. Yeah. Four strikeouts. I think so. I think my stats are better for this game, but you can try next time. We're about to go on a little dinner date. I have on my normal maxi skirt that I wear from Dish. You'll have seen it 8,000 times. I'm sure you're bored of it by now, but I actually just got it in a new color, so it's never leaving. I put on this like corset with it. I thought that was kind of cute. And then I'm gonna wear my same pointed toe heels that I wear this skirt every single time. I actually had like a little small <laughs> mental breakdown when I was getting like all packed for this trip because I realized I don't have any like somewhat cold weather, like middle of the, why is it so blue? Why, this is better. So I don't really have any like middle of the road coldness weather clothes. Like it's all like summertime or it's freezing cold. So I got myself a bunch of new basics and stuff, but this is what we're wearing in the meantime. I actually went last night and I shopped on Dish, I shopped on Ref, I shopped on Revolve, and what else? Skims, I put in a big Skims order, which I'm excited for because I've been putting off getting new like thongs and bras and stuff like that. Oh, Arsina Ori, one of my favorites, it's A-R-C-I-N-A-O-R-I. -A -A also, but Joe, I'm ready by the way. Okay. So I'm just waiting on you. Men, they always take so long to get ready. Okay, so tonight we're gonna go to a restaurant called Beck. Boca? Boca, it is? Boca. Boca. Uh, but I really wanna go grab a drink at a place called Gemini before because I asked a bunch of you where to go drink in Chicago near where we're eating in Lincoln Park. And so many people said the Gemini. So I'm gonna try to go have a drink there before and then head over to this Boca restaurant. Beth? <laughs> <laughs> 
Beth, I'm like, Boca, Beth. <laughs> I said Beck. One thing about Joe, he's gonna be shirtless in the hotel room. Oh, <laughs> putting that in. <laughs> you wanna put me pointing my nipples in there? <laughs> Do you want me to put you grabbing your nipples no. in there? <laughs> okay. Supposed to be working out this morning. I told Joe I was working out this morning. I told myself I was working out this morning. I cannot get myself to the gym lately. It's been a real problem in my life. Not to like look a certain way, but like I know I feel better in my life when I'm going to work out. I have not for real, for real, been consistent with working out for over six months now. And I feel it, like I feel brain foggy. I feel like my systems are not working properly. I feel so like weak and just not, myself but at the same time i can't get myself to go do it like yesterday i did a 30 minute walk on the treadmill and i attempted to do a small amount of strength training and i literally just couldn't focus i couldn't do it i was like okay we're, i'm just gonna sit on the ground here for i don't know 15 minutes and look at my phone and then go up to the room and i know that when i get consistent with strength training i feel so much better in general about life and i feel healthier so i really got to get on that but today is not that day <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna go walk around for a hot sec. I'm meeting a friend here at the hotel at like one, my friend Taylor, and we're gonna go to the game together. Feeling a little bit hungover, TBH. I had like three drinks last night, four drinks last night, and I'm feeling it, like so bad. Uh, but I'm excited for today's game because I don't have to be nervous about anything because Joe pitched yesterday, so I just get to go and like have a good time and be at a baseball game, so that's fun. <laughs> Um, I'm the healthiest bitch I know, if you were wondering. Look at that. I've never seen anything healthier in my life. I maybe went a little psycho at Zara. <laughs> and I wanna show you guys what I got, but I need to start getting ready because I was gone forever. But I got a bunch of stuff. And maybe after the game today, I'll show you guys. But like, y'all, so much good stuff for like date night. I told you I need a date night clothes. Anyways, I need to try this all on though, and then I'll go return it if I don't in fact like it. It's like, I always go to Zara and stock up on things like t-shirts and tanks and basics and stuff like that. I just, they have the best stuff for so, so inexpensive. Anyway, I need to do my makeup and get ready because Taylor's gonna be here in like less than an hour. Um, so we gotta move the show along. Okay, Taylor's here. Hi. I'm vlogging today. So got, I got dressed on TikTok and on Instagram, so. Just do it quickly here. This is from Maritzia. The skirt's from Maritzia. The uh, boots are from Tacobas, And then I'm not sure where the earrings are from. But we're doing full navy today. I've got my navy Bottega. I wish I would have brought the yellow one because I feel like that'd be more brewers-y. But you gotta do what you gotta do. I didn't pack enough. All right, our car is downstairs. We're headed out a little late. You know the vibes. Oh my god, I just walked into our room and these flowers are here. How sweet. This is, by the way, my podcast note to self turned three today. How cute. Definitely take these home tomorrow. I'm so tired. And we have to go to dinner. I've had two espresso martinis in the last hour and I'm still exhausted. Something's like wrong with me. When I drink espresso, I get tired. I thought I'd be able to get it like a little bit of a, a nap in post game, but I went to grab a drink with my friend Taylor in the lobby which turned into two drinks which turned into two drinks of course so now I'm just tired and I'm like you know when you're like kind of drunk and tired we're like is this night gonna end in a shit show or is this about to be fun are, are we gonna get in a fight me and Joe or is this gonna be good <laughs> we'll see what happens I guess all right here's my cute little outfit the shoes are reformation and the dress is reformation. I'm gonna put a jacket on for sure too. All right, y'all, 
do a quick little Zara haul. So this dress is the first thing that I picked up because I thought it was so cute. I was gonna wear it last night, but I ended up wearing my little Reformation dress because I like like a mini dress look. But this is so good. It has some pockets in it. Other girlies love their pockets. I think it's perfect for like spring, summer kind of date night look. So I'm definitely gonna keep this one. Okay, next I have this little black vest. So this ties in the back so I could actually make it a little bit tighter. I also am just wearing a pair of like my little egg goldie jeans. So I wanted to get this vest because I've been looking for something like it. I saw a photo on Pinterest of this outfit. I can put it right here. I thought it was so cute with just like some sandals. Um, I don't know about the fit of this though. So I like it in theory. I just think I might want something a little more cropped so I can make my legs look longer in jeans. You know what I'm saying? So maybe I'll return this one and still stay on the lookout for a cute black vest. I've been wanting to wear a little more color lately, so I feel like the easiest way to do that is to get myself some basics and colors. And I feel like I would totally wear this like every day with some sandals. I bought three pairs of flip-flops that I know I'm gonna be cycling out there. I bought a black pair, a brown pair, and like a beige pair from Teeks. I think I like this, I think we're gonna keep this one. Okay, I didn't really even need to try this on. I knew I was gonna like it. I have this top essentially in every color. <laughs> they make it in. I wear the green one all the time. I wear the white one all the time. I should have gotten another white one yesterday. Um, but I like to get them a little bit oversized. And I like how this one kind of feels. It's linen, but it's kind of giving like a chambray, like denim look, which I love with like a light wash jean. I have the perfect jeans. These are not the jeans I'm talking about, but I have the perfect jeans to wear with this to make it look kind of like a summery Canadian tux. Okay, next I've got this white, this like boxy kind of white tee. This material, is so nice it feels like it's kind of thick it kind of feels like streetwear like material you know what i mean like those like really expensive streetwear t-shirts but this is from zara and it's not expensive so i'm definitely gonna keep this one this is let me see what size this is this is a size small okay another white tee i'll probably just keep this because i always love these and if i ever need like a cropped white tee i'll just take one of these i have my closet maybe crop it <laughs> So these always come in handy. This one's super soft. It's not like that same thick material as the last one, um, but here we are. It'll do. It's also like seven bucks or something. I really like the color, but I don't really love the fit and I don't love the pearls. So for that reason, I'm out. Okay, so I think I have to keep this one. I don't really have any or very many cropped leather jackets. Um, the one I do have is very much like a motorcycle jacket. It's super thick uh, and like extra cropped that's kind of the style and the look but it's very heavy and like masculine this one feels it's more almost like a bomber style but the way that it's cut like the sleeves and everything it feels so much more expensive than it is and it's obviously vegan leather um but i think it looks really nice for being vegan leather it looks really real and i really like the collar that it has going on here so it's a different look and i wear these jackets all the time for like date night or something like this with a little black mini skirt and just like a simple tank underneath, and maybe that heel I wore last night. Perfect, it's like my ideal day night outfit. So that's the end of my Zara haul, that's everything. I need to pack everything up, Joe already went to the field today. I was gonna meet a friend for at the game, and then we're gonna do like a little early dinner with my friend Jamie, and then Taylor also is gonna come meet up again. Um, but Jamie has a sinus infection, and she's not really feeling up to it. And honestly, I would love to just like, get the stuff returned, go grab some food, show up to the game late, say bye to Joe, and then be on my merry way back to Milwaukee because I have to pick up Winnie super early in the morning. But yeah, so today's plan is gonna be returns. I'm gonna find a place to do lunch. I'm gonna look at some of the recommendations that I got and see if I got like a cute, healthy lunch place or something. And then I'm gonna put all my stuff, including my cute flowers. Look how cute these are. Joe came upstairs with them yesterday when I was down um, getting a drink with Taylor. We got some espresso martinis in the hotel bar. And he was like, he came down to say hi, and then he like had to leave. And he was like, I have to take a nap, I have to take a nap. Like, I'm so tired, I have to take a nap. He's like yawning. So I was like, okay, it's kind of like rude, but okay, sure. So he said that I could have easily caught him, but he snuck through the lobby. He went and got these, and then snuck through the lobby and surprised me with them up here when I got upstairs, so. Sometimes he's doing the right thing and I just get annoyed with him because I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> but I thought these were so pretty. These are some freaking flowers, all right? And he's got these purple ones, are anemones. That's my favorite, favorite flower. So I'm happy he got these. To celebrate, note to self, turning three. Did I say note to self, turning three already? 
my podcast, Note to Self, just turned three by the way. And I'm so excited for this year because I feel like I'm finally hiring out properly and I like I need a lot of help with like graphics and cool stuff for the Instagram um, and for TikTok for as long as we have TikTok. I feel like I just need better at, at social media with Note to Self and also I needed to come up with a new merch situation soon. So having Note to Self turn three kind of has been a great motivation to restart and revamp everything because we're kind of in the middle of a revamp. So I'm really excited about that. Anyway, there's my Zara haul. There's my explanation for the day. Let's go because I'm getting so hungry.